Hello guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you are going to enjoy it. I have switched my Taro 129 to Anab. <laughs> and right now I have it on position hold, attitude hold and heading hold. Those are some of the multiple flat mode available on Anav and everything is working well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the flat footage. I was before running beta flat 4.1 with RPM filter. I thought I'm gonna see a drastic change to how the drone is flying with ANAV. But I have to say everything is fine. The drone still flying pretty much the same way. It's still pretty responsive and agile. So I have no issue with how it's flying. In order to run ANAV on the drone, I had to make a couple changes. Uh, the first one is I had to switch the GPS module, the one that comes with the Taro 129, the BN220 does not have a compass or a magnetometer. So you need to have a magnetometer to run ANAV. I'm not sure, I think you can still run ANAV with the BN220, but I'm not sure how good it's going to be. So the magnetometer I pick is the BN880. It is actually the one recommended by ANAV. But since I'm using a magnetometer now, I also pick up a mast. And this particular one I got from Ben Good for four bucks. I got two of them because I already break one of them in the crash. And the reason I like this mast is because it allow you to screw the mask directly to your drone you got some space for your screws and the mask is keeping your magnetometer away from the rest of your electronics as you know electronics do produce electromagnetic interference and those with mess up with how your magnetometer is running uh, this one i actually had to make a little shorter the mask was a little too long so i cut off about two centimeters off of it and I have to say right now, it is running pretty smooth. Uh, wiring is pretty simple. Uh, those are the pinout of the BN880. And 
this should be pretty straightforward the sda go to sda on the flight controller you got your gun that go on the ground and of course your t-rex and rx has to be switched on your flight controller so tx go to rx and rx go to tx on the flight controller that's your five volts wire your vcc and scl go to scl very straightforward wiring if you already wire your bn220 on your tarot this should be pretty simple to do i'm gonna show you a fail safe work on anav that is actually one of the reason i've switched from beta flight is because anav has a better fail safe solution than beta flights i use this drone primarily for long range flight so i wanted to have a safety net in place in case I have a fail safe so I won't lose my drone. Uh, this is going to be, of course, a simulation. I got the fail safe mode on, on the configurator. And this is the switch that acts act like a fail safe. So when I turn this on, the drone is going to act like it's went into fail safe. I have my fail safe set up for return to home. So it should be able to come back and land on, on, on its own. Uh, one thing I do like is just it's not really useful for FEB flying, but I did set up an after telemetry, and I think it's pretty cool. It's mostly you. It's mostly gonna be useful for people that fly plane. Maybe I mean FPV is really not useful, but I, I just thought it was neat. Got a couple of different pages. And those are telemetry from the drone itself. Uh, give you some good information, number of satellite I have right now. And if you pay attention to the middle of the screen, the compass is actually moving with the drone. So I thought that was pretty neat. But of course, it's not really useful for people that fly FPV. All right, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. And my last little advice is do not test your fail safe or return to home in your backyard with a bunch of trees because this is what's going to happen to your drone. Thank you for watching, guys.